All right. Jamie's got a good one that um, uh, will help prevent disaster, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, you think you know the rules for dragging and dropping files. If you drag and drop to the same volume, the files are moved. And if you drag to a different volume, the files are copied. However, as our file system environment has become more complex, it becomes less and less obvious which destinations are considered to be on the same volume. I have lost files because I thought I was making a copy when I was actually moving them. The bad thing about this is that you might not realize it until much later that the files are no longer in their original location. The problem is magnified if the original files are located in a folder monitored by some kind of sync process like Dropbox or Synology Drive. The accidental deletion can propagate to other systems. This is the problem on the Mac for sure, but my biggest problem came on the Synology DSM using FileStation. I wanted to copy a lot of files from my Synology to a USB drive. I dragged a huge batch of them from their home volume to the USB drive. That's a different volume, so it should copy, right? Wrong. <laughs> I found out about two thirds of the way through and maybe a couple of hours later that it was actually moving my files from the NAS to the USB drive. I stopped the move and managed to get the files copied back. I never imagined that DSM would move my files without an even, are you sure? Um, so in Mac OS and DSM, you can select a batch of files and copy and paste them. I'm going to do this from now on. Yeah, that's interesting. I guess it, I, I guess this sort of makes sense with the split volumes and stuff. I don't know. I like, I would have assumed it would copy, not move, but, uh, but it's good to know that it does not. He's right. Co if you want to copy something, use the finders, copy and paste, or if you're running a Synology Use DSM's copy and paste. That's yeah. Okay. Fair. It's, I, it's not how I thought it would behave, but that's a good one, man. 